Hi, it's Steve from EFI Hardware and welcome to our series of short technical videos. This video is the second of a multi-part series dedicated to different types of throttle linkages, how they're fitted and how they're calibrated. In this video we'll be featuring a jointer balancer linkage which is commonly used in four-cylinder multi-throttle applications. It has a number of key features. First, it couples two shafts together and enables calibration between the two. It has an idle stop, a full throttle stop, a return spring mechanism and a cable pulley all in one package. So let's go now to setting and calibrating them. So here we have one half of our throttle set already fitted with the throttle stop linkage. For information regarding fitting and calibrating throttle stops, please see our previous video on throttle stop linkages as we'll be skipping this step in this video. Okay, here's our male half of the linkage which has the male tongue. It also has the full throttle stop, the idle stop mechanism and the return spring mechanism. In this scenario, we're also fitting a cable holder linkage. We've fitted our throttle stop and we've cut the shaft flush accordingly. So let's go to the female part of the linkage. Already we've dummied up, measured and cut the shaft on this throttle body so that there's a one mil gap between the two shafts when they're fitted to the manifold. So here we have the female half of the linkage and before we fit this to the throttle body we're going to preset it in a halfway position. So to do that we adjust the balancer until the end is flush with the linkage and then we're going to wind it up one, two, three, four turns. So here we have uh, the male half of the linkage and I'm just going to show you how the female part of the linkage uh, hooks in. So that's our female linkage hooked in on the male part of the linkage. Um, the adjuster is set at halfway as we just did before and as you'll notice the cable pull when it actuates will always push against the hard pin and we've got the the spring on the other side which allows adjustment. So at this point we need to adjust the throttle stop so that it's all the way backed off and the butterfly is actually closing on the bore temporarily. So the next step is to couple the two linkages of our throttles together and fit them to the manifold. So at this point we have to make sure that we've got our front throttles butterflies completely closed and then we tighten the clamping bolts of our female linkage to the shaft. So at this point both throttles are fully closed and the adjuster is halfway set. So now we have our throttles uh, fitted and the linkage mechanism working beautifully and it's all balanced. However, on some engines, we have to see different levels of vacuum between one cylinder and another. And this can be an issue when you've got one shaft with two butterflies and you're getting a difference in vacuum reading. That's where the idle speed screws come into action. With small adjustments and once again the synchrometer, you can get the idle perfect. Okay, so now fitting the throttle cable. Uh, we have our little ball fitting that goes into the eye of the cable pull linkage. that gets inserted through our cable holder. So now we're inserting the inner cable into the outer cable. And there we have our throttle linkage. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out our other videos at our website www.efihardware.com and YouTube channel EFI Hardware. Thanks for watching.